Welcome everyone, my name is Evan and you are watching Villaging. On this channel, we passionately pursue all of the things that have to do with holiday villages. And since you're watching this video, I'm going to at least assume that you have a passing interest in said holiday villages, so make sure that you smoosh that like button so that YouTube shares our holiday villaging lifestyle with others. On this episode of Villaging, we turn our eyes to the oldest building in our Halloween village to review the Haunted Mansion from Department 56. Now, we did a cursory glance at this building on one of our Throwback Thursday videos, and we asked if anyone wanted us to do one of our more extensive reviews on the piece. Well, big shout out to Linda H. for formally requesting that we do so, because this inaugural building from Department 56 most definitely deserves a closer look. The original Haunted Mansion from Department 56, not to be confused with the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, was D56's first foray into the fall festival known as Halloween, and they did not disappoint. This large house from 1998 must have once been a grand residence, but it has now fallen into a dilapidated state of disrepair. The busted out windows and broken boards tell the tale of time's unrelenting desire to decay everything down to dust. The light of day, while still presenting a slight air of foreboding, makes this abode feel abandoned and alone. However, the people of the neighborhood know better because as night falls, this derelict domicile springs back to life, so to speak. Out front, our immediate attention is drawn to the large front window through which we can see the motion of the spooks and spirits that have resurrected this massive manor. The window also contains a spider web and a black cat that is clearly frightened by the ghoulies inside. Below is a brick basement with two small lit windows and some greenery. The steps up to the front door have been surrounded by the settling fall leaves, and two jack-o'-lanterns have been placed next to and on top of the steps, probably put there by the spooky celebrateurs. The front door has signs around it telling us, no trespassing and keep out, although those clearly didn't deter our ghostly inhabitants. They'd be like, which please? You can't tell me what to do. Above the front porch, we find a black raven peering down on the entrance. All of the upstairs windows appear to have been broken out, and we can see another party pumpkin perched on the windowsill. Further up, we have another black raven resting on the green shingle roof, and light emitting from the circular attic windows. To the left of the front entrance, we find another lit basement window, and a large bay window that shows off the mansion's monstrous menagerie. More of the fallen fall foliage has settled above the bay window and on the balcony space upstairs. The banister around the balcony is weathered and damaged, and we can see more of the broken out windows. Boy, upstairs must be drafty. In the back of the building, we have two more basement windows and the busted remains of the porch that led up to the back door, which has been boarded up and posted a keep out. There is a large six paneled window displaying the specters and doors and two more broken windows upstairs with one featuring a smiling jack-o'-lantern. The final side of our mansion has two more bay windows containing spider webs and more views of the goings on inside. There are two more windows upstairs, though one actually isn't broken and a two smokestack chimney. As I said in my Throwback Thursday video, Department 56 absolutely swung for the fences when they came out with this haunted mansion. There are so many fine details all around that make this house feel like an expensive property, like the little accents above the front window or the pointy bits around the attic. Department 56 designed a really nice house here and then they had to kind of mess it up to make it look run down, like the front door coming off of its hinges or the spots on the roof where the shingles are missing so that we can see the black roofing material underneath. Heck, if you want to see this dichotomy in just one picture, look at this window. You have these fine details around the window, but the glass itself is clearly broken. And then there's the paint. It's fabulous. There are very few overruns or mistakes. I really find the coloring of the fall leaves appealing. The upstairs windows are painted yellow to mimic the captured light from the inside, but there are a couple of windows with red that looks like tattered window curtains. 
Heck, they even painted the nails on the boarded up door and the locking mechanisms on the downstairs windows. Department 56 didn't have to put so much work into this piece, but they did and it shows. Instead of using a, a standard 120 volt light bulb to light the house, this haunted mansion is lit from the inside by a single bulb that rests in the middle of a motorized mechanism that spins the screen used to cast the images of bats, ghosts, and witches. The motor and the bulb are fed power by a massive 12 volt AC adapter. I have found that the bulb can be replaced with an 1156 style 12 volt single contact bayonet base automotive bulb, which you can see us experiment with in another video. I suspect that this is a mechanism D56 already had in one of their winter village houses, and they merely recycled it for this application and changed the screen. But again, instead of playing it safe and using a basic light bulb, they put in a motorized screen backlit with a bulb. The designers absolutely set the bar high when they came up with this house. This is such a beautiful building from Department 56. By putting their best foot forward with this mansion, you can understand why their Snow Village Halloween line remains popular today. From the paint to the overall look and design of the house, this is an outstanding piece in our Halloween village. And even though my perpetually pessimistic persona perceives the motor as a potentially problematic failure point, that doesn't detract from how awesome the haunted mansion from Department 56 truly is. Thus, I give it a 10 out of 10 pumpkins. Thank you for watching my fellow villagers and remember to take care of those original boxes 